In this video, I'm gonna show you how to measure 8 different voltages at the same time by using a single channel scope. In some situations, we need to monitor in several voltages at the same time on the scope's display. But the problem here is that the number of channels are limited. To solve this problem, we have to use an electronic circuit, so-called multiplexer. You can imagine the multiplexer as a rotary selector switch that hooks up the channel of your scope to each voltage source to be measured for a short time periodically. So in that case, several voltages appears on the scope display. I tried to find out a multiplexer circuit on internet, but unfortunately all of them have the same issue. They are measuring the voltage with respect to the ground, and in some applications they are useless. For example, let's say you have several batteries or supercapacitors and they are connected together in series. In this case, you need to measure the voltage across each individual battery, not with respect to the ground. So I designed my own circuit as always. The working basis of this circuit is so simple. I'm using optocoupler as selector switch. The 4017 IC running the optocouplers sequentially. So as you can see here, each time two optocouplers are switched on and connect the voltage to the scope. And 4093IC generate the clock pulse. After converting this circuit to PCB, I order it from PCBWay.com. I received my package after 10 days, then I soldered the components on the PCB. So it's time to test. Here I have 8 lithium ion batteries. I connect them to my circuit to measure in the voltage of each battery on the scope display. You have to connect channel 1 here and external trigger here. For the first time you have to select DC coupling, 1x probe and external trigger. Then select the proper voltage and time division. So now we have 8 voltages on the scope display. Let's check them out. The voltage of the battery number 1 and 2 is 4.1 volt. Number 3, 3.6 volt. Number 4, 4.1 volt. Number 5, 4 volt. Number 6, 3.7 volt. Number 7, 3.8 volt. And the last one, 4 volt. So this circuit working well. By the way, external trigger is so important. When I disconnect it, the scope go crazy, because it cannot understand at which point it have to start to draw in the curve. The polarity of input voltage doesn't matter. For example, I can remove battery number 5 and put it in reverse polarity, so the voltage reading will be in minus. I'm using these resistors here because if I remove them, some noise appears on the display, when no voltage connected to the input of the circuit. However, it's better to replace them with some capacitors, because the resistor can drain some current from the voltage under test and affect the accuracy. The current consumption of this circuit is only 2 mA. This is why I'm using coin cell batteries. You also can use this circuit to measure the voltage of supercapacitor bank. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.